Tone Poems. In addition to the cosmic flying train dropping oversized apples incident of 1994, the city of Uzumalak, like the rest of the world, have shared many memorable and odd experiences with subculture phenomenon, diversified faith. Diversified faith always gave the people hope for a brighter future. The band's motto, come take aim, to spare some change through the deserts and plains, across the oceans and mountains. Adding to their lineup, the band would begin to incorporate auxiliary musicians and performers. Girlfriend, deserts, and mountains. How about sneaky sex parties? Woo cha! This is Ole Hans Ole from Norway. Would you like a ride in my canoe? Yo, I don't think anybody's gonna lie to you, but it's gonna be hard to get a coherent story because of my funky love rhythms and everybody happened to be out their minds. I don't, I don't know if it's my place to say, but uh, I, I think the partying just got way out of control. I just like to hang around backstage. My name is Running Stump, and this is Bud here. We're just a couple of normal people, man. Oh. We like to hang out backstage and drink a little bit, smoke a little bit of weed. Ooh, Hell, if yeah. I had my stage arms, I'd open up this flask. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like lights. As the band's manager, of course I knew stuff was going on behind the scene. Alliances were being formed. Groups, cliques, men's against women's. It all came down to money, you see, in the end, money. Of course there's gonna be problems. Some people just don't grow up. They still just wanna hang around and play with their naughty parts. Meanwhile, we're like heads of a major corporation here, you know? It's really about the live communion, oh, yeah. the yeah. live shows, the music. Yeah. It's really, it's really about feeling the, rhythm, yeah. the community and experiencing it together as one. Yeah. As a whole. It's not the conformity of non-conformity. We're still non-conformity. So a band that once gave hope to the people of Uzumalak and the world lived in excess. They smoked too much. They ate and drank too much. They grew disillusioned and paranoid. Even the elders and guest performers grew weary of the game. It wasn't a pretty scene anymore. Was there hope for change, or did the love just fade away? 